today and right now I'm just getting ready because I'm going to be having lunch with my friends um, just at a local restaurant so I thought I would do some of my makeup on camera and turn this into a birthday makeup tutorial kind of a video. I'm going to be using the Miraness Liquid Silk in colour, not in colour bronze. I'm going to do it actually in colour mocha, which is a shade lighter. I'm using natural light and I just look really, really white, but I'm not actually that white. So anyway, this will work. So... I'm going to apply some of this. I've just moisturized my skin underneath with the um, Miraness Power Lift. Um, what is it? The Power Lift Treatment Cream, which I just use as a daily cream. And I'm going to bring this down to my neck area as well to blend it in with my tan. Um, after I finish doing my makeup, I'm going to do my hair, which I'm just, I'm not doing anything fancy. But I've got two dresses that just arrived and I have no idea which dress I'm going to wear. So I will show you both of them on camera. And even though by the time you see this, I will have already worn one of them and taken photos and celebrated my birthday. It would be interesting to see if you guys think that I picked the right dress. So we'll see. Now I'm just going in with my Brow Wiz pen by Anastasia and I'm just going to draw in my eyebrows. I've done a, a ton of videos on this so I might just really quickly skip this. Quick intermission, I just want to stop before I do the other eyebrow to show you the difference. It's kind of crazy how important it is to do your eyebrows. I mean, it's such a difference from the one that's filled in and the one that's not filled in. It completely frames my face and eyebrows are really important. So if you're going to leave the house and could only apply three beauty items, I would say do your mascara, eyebrows, and your foundation. Next, I'm going to go in with my Morphe palette and I'm going to take this shade here, which you can see I've already hit pan and apply it into the crease of my eye. And I'm then going to take this gold shade here, which I've also hit pan and put it on my eyelid. So what I'm going to do to apply the gold um, eyeshadow on my eyelids, I'm actually going to open up this new bottle of um, Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Setting Spray. And I'm going to spray some onto my brush. This is really going to enhance the pigments in the gold and really make it stick and stand out. If you like applying like any shimmery or metallic um, eyeshadows, that's definitely a little tip that I recommend. You can just spray your brush with any like setting spray and it will just really enhance the pigments and help for them to stick to your um, eyes without any fallout. The last thing that I'm going to take from this palette is the black color here in the corner and I'm going to apply that as close as possible to my lash line. I always like to kind of pull my skin out when I draw my liner. It just makes it a lot easier for me. You don't have to do that. And I'm going to use the mirror that I have right next to me here. You can already see the difference between that eye and that eye. It just makes it pop um, just that little bit without it being too harsh. Now the next part might be a little bit boring for you guys, so again I might just fast forward. Basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply some mascara. Today I'm using Better Than Sex Too Faced Waterproof Mascara. I'm going to apply my favorite lashes, which is Red Cherry um, number 43, and I'll be back in a minute. I already painted them. What color? Babe, I'm doing, I'm recording. Let me see you now, I'm recording. Seriously, Brock, please. Please. Okay, so I'm just about to put my concealer on and Brock and Harley are playing on the floor. So if you hear some weird noises, it's just them. This is the Touch On Concealer by Miraness. And what I'm going to actually do is mix this with some of the L'Oreal True Match in shade Fair Light. Huh? 
Now to set my concealer, what I'm going to do is I always do this. I'm going to use a little bit of diffused light and just gently pat it under my eyes. And then I'm going to take the Laura Mercier translucent powder and then pop that under my eyes as well. <laughs> set my face, I'm going to use the MAC Studio Fix in NC13. Now for bronzing, I'm going to take my Shade and Light palette by Kat Von D and take this middle colour here. And I'm going to apply it down sides of my nose, around my forehead. Then I'm going to go in with my MAC blush. This is in shade Melba, one of my favorites. I'm going to apply that to the apples of my cheek. Cheeks, sorry. And to highlight, I'm going to take the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to take shade Summer, which is this one here, by the way, super pigmented. And I'm going to apply that to the tops of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose as well, and just to the top of my lips. Perfect. Now, I'm not sure what lip color I'm going to do just yet, and I'm not going to apply it because I still have a little bit of time before I leave, so don't want to make a mess. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the two dresses that arrived. They're both from Alice McCall, and I absolutely love them. One is black, one is like a white beigey color. I have no idea which one I'm going to wear, but I'm going to try on both of them for you right now, so let me know what you think. This is the first one, so let me try it on for you guys. So this is the first outfit. It's super pretty. It's obviously like a black lace and it's really, really nice around the arms. I haven't done up the back yet properly, but you kind of get the idea. It's got a really thin spaghetti strap that goes around the neck and then crisscrosses back down. It's a play suit. I don't know. I should just move that down for you guys so you can see a little bit. It's a play suit. So it's super short. It's a really hot day in Sydney today. So, um, both of the places that I got will, you know, work perfect. So this is the black one. And now I'll show you the other one. And this is the white one. Um, this one's a little bit different. It's not lace. I can't even describe it. So I'm just going to step in closer that you guys can see. It's kind of frilly. It's got the big sleeves. What do you guys think? Should I do the black or should I do this little white jumpsuit. So I just sprayed some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix setting spray. So my makeup's not going to melt off my face. Um, what play suit do you think I decided to wear? Thinking about Lauren, she's a really nice person and she never feels at anything else. 